Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. Today I have my smartphone because I want to show you a text-based, or well, it, an app that you can use to create text-based print-on-demand designs. And the app is called WordSwag. And I did a video on WordSwag a few weeks ago, probably around six to eight weeks. And I'll do another one because um, they, had, they updated their app. Um, the new app has a few new features and you can still use the classic app as well. So I just want to take the opportunity to show you both of these because both have certain advantages and I recommend you use both of them at the same time. So let's have a look at the new one first, which is the left one here. As I said, it's called WordSwag. So when you get into this main, um, main dashboard here, you can see, you know, it's quite colorful. You have the possibility to use um, on gallery. You can just use your own photo and photos that you have on your smartphone. You can, you don't have to. Um, camera, you can take a new photo. Classic edition allows you to download the classic edition. And I normally just use template because I want to create text-based designs which go on a clear background. Now you can use a colored background as well here. Um, but I recommend that you use the transparent background here. You can see there are various photos already and I think they are all commercially usable because they come from Pixabay. You can also search for new background images as well that you want to use and I think the search is powered by Pixabay so they are commercially usable. All you need to do however is to add some value to the photo and then you can also use it for print on demand. Now let's have a look at the transparent feature. So transparent background is what we want. You can enter your own text that you want on the t-shirt or you just select random and it gives you a series of very random sayings and slogans and for the purpose of this video I just use one of these and then it gives you the text. Now the, the good thing is you've got various different fonts here and I like the fonts and I think they look really good on um, shirts. So for example this one will look quite good. I think this one may sell as well and various other shirts, uh, sorry, and look, this one looks quite good as well. Various other designs um, and fonts. As you can see, this is quite creative. I think they look quite good. Um, so various, various um, different fonts that you can use to create text-based, just text-based designs. And um, yeah, I like the app. What you need to know, there is a free version. And I'm using the premium version. It costs uh, it's a one-off payment, I think 350. And I recommend you use the, the premium version because if the free version, I think they have ads, and I'm not sure there might be some other features you cannot use with the, with the free version. But it's a one-off payment. It's not a subscription, and it's quite a good app. And if you make only one sale from it, you probably already have this um, cost for the app. Um, you know, it, it's paid for itself pretty much. So as you can see, quite a lot of um, nice fonts here. And you can get it on Google Play Store. You might also get it on, um, I don't have an iPhone, so I'm not sure if you can get it on the um, iPhone App Store, but definitely on the Google Play Store. So as you can see, I just wanna show you the series of fonts they have here. Now, let's go back to the beginning where I think I like these most, to be honest. I mean, they are all quite good, to be honest, so. May just use that one for this for this video, so you can move it around. Yeah, on the display here, you can under under format, you can center it. You can, you know, sort of put it right, left, and center. You can make it bold, but this is already a bold font, so it doesn't change anything. Italic or just caps. Yeah, so capital letters. I think we look good on most shirts anyway. Just give your best to center it. And then you can select the letter size as well. Change that. And you want to make, I think for print on demand, you want to make it as large as possible. Because when people scroll over the thumbnails of your of your designs and shirts and over the, the pages of Redbubble and Spreadshirt, you want to make sure that you know people can read it straight away because then they click on it. You can also select the color, change the color of the text, which is quite good. Well, you can also add the um, yeah, highlight text, but I think we keep it 
I want to keep it transparent. Or you can use this as well. Just sort of make it but round around it, you know, round the edges a little bit. You make it transparent again. And um, you can add all sorts of things. You can add a shadow to it. Uh, but you don't see that here now because I've got it shows as black background even though it's transparent. So what you can also do is letter spacing. You can change the letter spacing here to make it look good, and also the line height. What you can also do, I think, what the classic version didn't offer at the time was you can add another text. And I don't know how many you can actually offer. But yeah, I think you can probably add like unlimited additional text, which then allows you to use different fonts, maybe mix them up a little bit, make it look good. Um, and you can just delete them again. So yeah, you can mix and match fonts here. Change the color of the other one as well. And just make it look good. I just, I don't, I, don't um, I just want to show you how it works here. So you can, as I said, you can mix it up a little bit, and then when you just click on the background here, you can add a rainbow. You know, you can add different things here as well. Um, they have hearts, and it's just something which might make it look a bit more interesting. Um, they call it stickers here. So it's quite nice to have some some images that you can use as well. And I'm not sure if you can use these on the free version, but um, I think this is a feature that the previous WordSwag didn't offer. Well, Christmas as well, which you don't need now. Flowers and firework. Well, this is what I call on the sticker. Then you've got overlays here, which I really like, to be honest. So I like these. Um, Unfortunately, they are just they're just images. You can't change the text. What I would really like, if you could use something like um, something like that, and when you could, if you could just change the text. But unfortunately, it's just an image, so it's not really much use. I think they I, they look good. I think I like them, but those overlays here, yeah. Unfortunately, you can't. I mean, even something like that. Unfortunately, you can't you can't um, change it. It's a bit, uh, bit of a shame, but anyway, they offer the possibility to add that. You can add emojis as well, and just here, which is used for some squares, for example, shapes and and um, different things. So, the app offers some good possibilities to create some really nice designs. I think. Um, and they, they, you know, they look really good. I just, I just don't understand why you can't change the text, unfortunately. But even, even if not, I mean, it gives you some good ideas how you could design it as well. Because designing some, something like that here, um, like this image, doesn't really take a lot of time with Word Swag. So I really like the app. Well, this is a new app. The new app has a few new features. You can add additional texts. You know, they've got new different fonts but they don't offer this word art feature which I liked so much on the classic version. So I recommend if you decide to use it, definitely use the classic version as well. And I'll show you the classic version as well. And you will appreciate the different features that the classic version offers. And that is actually better than the new version. But again, the new version offers some nice fonts and has some things as well which are really good. So what you do with the classic version, again, transparent background, and then, oops, so just need to, right, okay. So again, you can select a few, um, a few sayings or slogans from here, and just use one of these. And as you can already see, you've got a completely different layout. So the classic version, you have those squares here, which allow you to, you can see the background. So those squares allow you to much better center the image, 
On the other one, on the new world swag, you can't center the image that well because you don't have these um, squares in the background. And I don't know why the developers didn't include that as well because it's so much easier. I mean, if you even if you have something like that here, you can't really, with the new version, it's very hard to properly center it. But now with the squares, you can just count the squares and then um, you, can, you can do that as well. So as I just see now, you can apparently add more text here as well. I didn't know that was possible, but apparently it is. So we just delete that layer. No, don't delete that layer. Now, the good thing on this app here, you have a text, um, and you have a certain saying here, or slogan, and you've got all those fonts down here. Now, <laughs> as you can see, this already gives you some nice word art, whereas the new app just gives you a new, uh, different font. But here, you, it, it already creates a really nice looking design. And you just need to press this button here, the dice at the back, uh, at, the, at, the, uh, at the bottom. And then they, they, put those, um, they put the saying or the words that you add together in a way that you know that just it that just looks good. You can you can straight away put it on a design on a shirt, and they always rearrange it in a different way. So with just one saying, you can just create a lot of different designs just with the press of a button. And those fonts look quite good as well. And you see what I mean? You can just change it quickly, and it allows you to create new designs and scale your designs because there's no reason why you couldn't have one. A saying even if it's something like you know I like gaming I like volleyball I like basketball or whatever and then you go on here and you just you know get those all of those different designs and you just upload them as well so because so many people struggle to create a lot of designs on a daily basis but with this I mean you can so easily create a lot of designs and just make sure they always um, you have the text is as large as possible So yeah, this is a really nice feature. Now, I like this one actually. Now what you can do, you can um, go to color here and then you can change the text color as well. And they have these um, overlays here as well, which look quite good. And you can change the transparency as well. But mainly you can change the color and you have this fantastic word art, which I really like, which for some reason the new app doesn't offer and I don't understand it. So my recommendation is, as long as you can still get the classic app, and by the way, the classic app is not available on the Play Store, only the new app is available on the Play Store. To get the classic app, you need to download the new version, click on classic version in the new app, and then it leads you to a, a Google Drive download folder from where you can download the old app, the classic app. And as long as it's still out there, guys, please, I mean, I recommend you do it because at one point they might completely take it away. Um, but this is so valuable, I think, because for me, I mean, it helps me to be so much more efficient. And I sold quite a few of these on um, Spreadshirt, especially Spreadshirt and also on uh, Society6. But as you can see, it's, it's, it's really good. I mean, the only thing is that I don't think you can change the size of the background. And I think it's 2,500 by 2,500. And the websites don't have a problem with it. The only reason it's not great is that you can't upload these to Merge by Amazon. But you can definitely upload them to all the other websites. And it, um, yeah, it's fantastic. So that's just a, a tip I wanted to give you, something I wanted to show you today. Just to sort of talk about the difference between the new app and the old app. Because on my, my new phone, I tried to find the old app on the Play Store. I just couldn't. So I had to download the new version. Had to go this, um, had to download the classic version from the Google Drive. But now I use them both in parallel. And um, yeah, it's really useful. So I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. And if you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Bye.